Hi, I'm Kate Messner, the author of Fergus and Zeke, and I am thrilled for this book to be included in Camp Candlewick. I recommend the Fergus and Zeke series for readers ages five to eight or so. If you like laugh out loud animal stories, this could definitely be a new favorite series for you. In these books, Fergus and Zeke, who are classroom pets in Miss Maxwell's room, love to do everything the children do. So in the first book, that means that they sneak away and join the class trip to the Natural History Museum. In book two, Fergus and Zeke at the science fair, it's time for the school science fair and Fergus and Zeke don't want to be left out, so they come up with their own science experiment, a mouse-sized one. And in book three, Fergus and Zeke and the Field Day Challenge, it's time for the school's big field day, and Fergus and Zeke are ready for some outdoor fun. I want to read you a little bit from the beginning of the first Fergus and Zeke book. Fergus and Zeke by Kate Messner, that's me, illustrated by Heather Ross. Chapter one, field trip day, and Fergus too. Fergus loved being the class pet in Miss Maxwell's room. He loved everything about school, and he was good at following the class rules. When Miss Maxwell said, sit quietly for story time, Fergus sat still and listened. When Miss Maxwell said, Follow the directions carefully. Fergus followed every step. When the students solved math problems, Fergus solved them too. He always kept his eyes on his own work. And when Miss Maxwell said, it's time to clean up, Fergus tidied his cage. His favorite part of the day was music. Fergus did a jazzy dance while the children sang and played instruments. One day, Miss Maxwell told the students they would be taking a field trip to the Museum of Natural History. Everyone was excited. I want to see the dinosaurs, said Emma. I want to see the butterfly garden, said Jake. I want to see the planetarium, said Lucy. I want to wish on a shooting star. Fergus wanted to see all those things too. What fun it would be to wish on a shooting star. He couldn't wait for the big trip. But when field trip day arrived, Miss Maxwell said, Emma, will you please give Fergus some sunflower seeds? We don't want to be hungry while we are away. Wait, Fergus thought. Does that mean that I'm not going on the field trip? Here you go, Fergus, Emma said. She put the seeds in his cage. Sorry you can't come to the museum with us. Why can't I go to the museum, Fergus thought. He did everything with Miss Maxwell's class. He was sure there must be some mistake. So he packed his lunch to go. He combed his soft mouse fur so he would look nice for the trip. He waited for Miss Maxwell to notice. He waited for her to say, what a great museum mouse Fergus will be. We must take him along on our field trip. But Miss Maxwell was busy taking attendance and getting the first aid kit ready and watching for the bus. The children were busy remembering lunches and zipping coats and lining up. No one paid any attention to Fergus. I want to go on the field trip too, Fergus thought. I want to see the dinosaurs and butterflies. I want to wish on a shooting star. So when no one was watching, he slipped out of his cage and hid in Emma's backpack. Emma picked it up and carried it out to the bus. We're going on a field trip to the museum, Emma told the bus driver. And deep in the dark of the backpack, Fergus smiled. He was going on the field trip too. So the rest of this book talks about some of my favorite things at natural history museums, including 
dinosaur skeletons. Do you love dinosaurs too? I sure think dinosaurs are cool. I hope you enjoy these books. So Fergus and Zeke is book one in the series. And then in book two, Fergus and Zeke go to the science fair. And book three is that field day challenge book full of outdoor fun. Summer reading is so important because it keeps our brain muscles strong. Also, it is so much fun. I hope you enjoy the Fergus and Zeke books and all the great books you find to read this summer.